In this Autodesk Fusion 360 video, I'd like to talk to those people that use link components and a new function called Edit in Place. This was just released with the latest version of Fusion. Now to use this feature, you must turn it on first. Go to your Preferences and look for Preview Features and check the box under Edit in Place. You're ready to go. I'm going to be demonstrating Edit in Place using this pad which goes on the bottom of the steam engine. Uh, to put it in place, I'm going to show you a new function that came along with the update also in the joints. You now have the ability to use two intersecting edges. So I want these, this edge and this edge on the first component to go to this edge and this edge on the assembly. Now notice it's at 90 degrees. Just simply spin it around and say OK. That is too cool. What I'm going to be doing is editing the base of this steam engine to add this hole which is in the base pad all the way through it. So I'm going to edit the base in the context of the assembly. Now you can get edit component in two or three ways. One is by hitting the little pencil beside it in the browser. One is to right click on it and edit in place. You can also do this. You can pick on it in the graphics screen as the body. Right click and pick edit in place from here. Either way gets you the same results. Everything else is blanked out and that becomes the visible component. To leave edit in place you will use the green checkbox up the top when we're finished. So I'm going to go ahead and start my new sketch on the base base of the new sketch. Excuse me, I'm going to pick on this right there and say new sketch. I'm then going to project. I'm not going to project any link with the circle. Finish my sketch and now go ahead and extrude as a cut. And I'm going to go all the way through with it. Now that I'm finished, I can go ahead and check the box. It goes back and updates not only the assembly, but it updates the part. You can see the hole through it. And so what I'll do now is just save. And I'm going to prove to you that the edit was successful in the link component. So I'm going to open it up from here. And as you can see, the hole was in it. Now if you're editing in place and you project geometry into a part, and you leave the projection links on, you have some other assets that show up in the browser. Let's go through one. What I'm going to do is edit the back bearing mount and put this cutout in it. And you'll see the added assets. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this part and edit in place. Everything else grays out. Next thing I'll do, I'll put a sketch on this surface. I'm then going to project with a link, these lines and this, all the lines in this feature. Taking care, only get the lines. When I finish, say OK. Now they're linked. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and finish my sketch and I'm going to extrude that cut. By the way, notice all the pieces became visible for a second. Don't let it alarm you. It will go away in a second. I'm going to do it all the way through. So now, as you can see, I have the hole. And if I go over to my browser and expand it, you'll see some called assembly content. Context from another piece has been added. I'll show you what to do that in a second. So these assets 
context assets need to be respected if you change the original piece, which was projected with, with a projected link. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to edit this part in the context of the assembly, head in place, and I'm going to change the fillet radius. Edit feature is now an eighth. I'm going to change to a sixteenth. Hit updates. I'll finish that. And you'll see there's a little warning. It says that the contacts are out of sync on the part. So you'll see if you turn around that the fillets have not been changed. What you need to do is expand the browser, find the assets of the contact, right click on it, and say synchronize assembly contacts. And then it'll update. Now remember this is only if you projected a link. You will not see this if you did not project a link. So the edit in place command is very, very powerful, but you must respect different conditions, especially if you project geometry and have a link between it. Again, don't, remember, don't forget, you've got to turn on in preferences to use it under preview features. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you in your fusion design.